दिस इज प्रॉब्ली वॉट इज हैपन इन द लाइफ ऑफ करंजीत कौर वोहरा हुम द वर्ल्ड नोन एज सनी लियोनी हुज रियल लाइफ is nothing less than a fairy tale in real life she was born on may 13th 1981 in sarnia ontario canada and her nationality is canadian american and she is of punjabi origin she was a former canadian actress and model and a porn star in the past before she entered bollywood and the television scene in india she had been named the penthouse pet of the year in 2003 used to perform for vivid entertainment and maxim had even voted her amongst the top 12 porn stars in 2010 did you know that the gorgeous sunny leone had made a first appearance on indian television when she worked as a red carpet reporter for the mtv video music awards on mtv india as she has made her presence felt in various mainstream events films and tv shows then in 2011 she was selected to be a part of india's most popular reality tv show big boss and then the rest is history as there was no looking back for the stunning actress she's been ruling bollywood as a main lead actress and an item girl as well however we shall talk about her bollywood career at a later stage first Let's dig into her past as to what she has done before. Sunny's parents were Sikh Punjabi parents and her father was born in Tibet and he grew up in Delhi. Sunny's mother had died in 2008 and she had her origin from Sirmore, Himachal Pradesh. Do you know that she was only 16 when she actually lost her virginity? In fact, she had sex with a baseball player at another school. Apparently, she even discovered at the age of 18 years that she was bisexual and she was attracted to both men and women. Her grandparents had a dream of the family being together and thus her family moved to Fort Gratiot, Michigan and then later to Lake Forest, California. Before she entered the porn industry, she used to work at a German bakery. She was studying to be a nurse. Just imagine how hot she would have looked as a nurse on screen. Maybe some Bollywood filmmaker would have cast her as a hot and happening nurse. The former Penthouse magazine owner Bob Guccione had chosen the Leoni name, and hence she was known in the adult film industry as Sunny Leoni. Sunny has won the biggest accolades in the adult industry as she was named Penthouse Pet of the Year. She entered into hardcore pornography and she made it known that she would only be there to do lesbian sex scenes. Thus her first movie released was released in 2005 December. Then her next movie it took her only 4 days to complete this movie which won Sunny her first AVN award best interactive DVD and the female gardener in which she starred and she agreed to perform for the first time with men on camera after that she even followed up with the first boy girl title with the other side of sunny in october 2008 which was the last time that she actually performed when 2008 started sunny leone revealed that she was no longer exclusive to erickson in fact she had done scenes with other actors as well the prime ones being tommy gun charles dera in 2009 vivid released her only movie performing with other male actors titled she decided to write direct and create her own brand of adult movies with vivid entertainment as a distributor her first independent production was titled the dark side of the sun which released in march 2009 and she even debuted at the erotic heritage museum in las vegas in 2009 she held a casting call in las vegas she had managed to leverage her online popularity by striking deals with firms like ppp card adultpokeryparty.com brickhouse flirt for free totem cash and i am live to sell and distribute her content 
over the internet and other forms of media. She even won the Web Babe of the Year at the 2008 XBiz Awards. Her websites and business interests are run under the banner company Leoni LLC. Used Sunny Leoni's image along with other vivid models and actors to market the line of skateboards. She was paired with Gab Eco, one of the team control riders. She had even made it clear that she wanted to launch her own range of lingerie and other Sunny branded products including a diamond jewelry line. Then in 2009, iPhone or Apple was also not far behind as she struck a deal with them and iPhone application was created which consisted of collection of non-nude photos, some videos and a porn star penned blog which was approved by Apple for sale in the iTunes store making it the first officially sanctioned application to ever feature a porn star. In Feb 2010, the app had been removed by Apple from the store. She was earlier number 41 in 2007, but by now she was voted number 13 on Genesis Magazine's Top 100 Porn Stars list. Number 34 on DesiClubs.com Top 50 Coolest Desis of 2004 and one of the 40 under 40 ranking on Avian Online magazine. In 2010, she was named by Maxim as one of the 12 top female stars in the porn industry. She was voted number 82 in the top 99 women for 2012 in AskMen.com's list. Then the year 2013 came. I don't have any plans as of now to go back there. If you remember, in India, there was a FIR also filed in the year 2015. We cannot block the website, but will ask the operator to remove objectionable content. As I had mentioned earlier that she was a red carpet reporter for MTV Awards on MTV India. She even had a cameo in the film, The Girl Next Door and performed in Ja Rule's video, Living It Up, and a video for Kids Killy. The other credits which she has are Ease Wild On and the Sundance Film Festival's After Dark. She was even a contestant in the second season of the Fox reality show, My Bear Lady 2, Open for Business, in which a group of adult actresses were given classes and training on how to pitch investment ideas and compete for their success in the business world. In addition to that, she was also filming her scene in Debbie Does Dallas in 2007 and she was a part of the Showtime documentary of the same name which was detailing the production of the movie and the personal lives of the stars as well. By now, she had realized that Bollywood was calling her and she couldn't hold herself back and thus she entered the Big Boss house. However, do you know that the director Mohit Suri had reportedly asked Sunny Leone to play the lead role in the film Kalyug, but instead had to cast Deepal Shaw as Sunny had demanded one million dollars apparently as her acting fees. She's even mentioned that Amir Khan is actually her favorite actor and she acknowledges the fact that 60% of her fans are from South Asia. Then in 2008, she even starred in a mainstream action-adventure movie which was called Pirate's Blood, which was actually shot in Oman, primarily because she felt he was more business-friendly to the adult industry than his opponent John McCain. She even released a public service announcement on behalf of ASACP that reminded all the adult webmasters to protect the sites from children by having an RTA label attached to it. She has been a fitness freak as she has worked out rigorously at the gym and is a fitness enthusiast as well. She is featured in several mainstream fitness publications. She is modeled for the fitness clothing brand 
fantasy fitness and shared that she keeps her body in shape by working out as much as she can despite her busy schedule and she was quoted in the men's fitness magazine i try to eat very healthy lots of vegetables drinking my milk every day in 2013 sunny posted for a peta ad campaign encouraging dog and cat owners to have their pets spayed and neutered in an interview for peta india she said i believe that every single dog should be spayed and neutered you don't want to continue the cycle of homeless dogs or cats and spaying and neutering also keeps them healthy in 2011 when she took part in the indian reality show big boss she entered the house on the day 49 however she refused to reveal her actual identity of a porn star and replied to the fellow housemate pooja bedi that she was a model and a tv star in america for the last 10 years it was reported that she actually caused a stir in the larger populace with a twitter feed gaining 8000 new followers in just those two days and google even said that there was huge search for her on the internet there were even complaints lodged with the indian ministry of information and broadcasting alleging that the colors tv channel was promoting pornography by having sunny leone on the show among those who filed are the indian artists and actors forum and anurag thakur member of the lok sabha and the head of the bharatiya janata party's youth wing as you all have seen on television when she was a part of the big boss house she was approached by the bollywood filmmaker mahesh bhat and then she was offered the lead role in jism 2 which was actually the sequel to the 2003 film jism she entered bollywood in 2012 with this film jism 2 however the critics didn't appreciate her that much but it was commercially successful it may be noted that sunny leone actually became a superstar overnight with her next film which was ragini mms2 by ekta kapoor which was again a sequel to ragini mms a crossover horror sex movie also called as horex she featured in an item number after that in sanjay gupta and ekta kapoor's film shoot out at wadala in 2013 which was again a huge hit leela teri le legi there was even the jackpot film which released on 13th december 2013 but was not accepted well by the critics and the audience thus her first release of 2014 actually turned out to be this much anticipated horex movie ragni mms2 which was a box office success in this film she was appreciated by the critics and one of the famous critics mohar basu called her a revelation the critic mr tarun adarsh also noted that leoni carries off her character with supreme confidence then in 2013 november she made her tamil film debut in vada kari which released in may 2014 and featured her in a special appearance then the pink lip song also marked her success in hit story 2 movie then she featured in the item song shake that booty opposite meeka singh in his film balvinder singh famous ho gaya in which she appeared in a cameo in karan thiga opposite manchu manoj and rakul preet singh in which she played a school teacher then she appeared in an item song in sasama bagilu tagiyama in kannada film dk which marked her debut in the kannada film industry then in 2015 she was a part of bobby khan's musical thriller ek paheli leela in which she had a double role of leela a village girl and meera a supermodel from milan This film released on April 10th, 2015. The film had decent collections of around 27.47 crores, which is around 4.1 million US dollars. Then after that, she appeared in Devang Dholakia's Kuch Kuch Locha Hai, which was released on May 8th, 2015. She played the role of a film star opposite Ram Kapoor, Evelyn Sharma, and Navdeep Chhabra. This film proved to be a critical and commercial failure then she did her second kannada song kamakshi from the film love you alia 
After that, she was seen in 2015 in a cameo in Akshay Kumar's Sing Is Bling, and in January 2016, she appeared in Milab Zaveri's adult comedy Masti Zade, which released on January 29th, 2016. She again played the roles of Leela Lele and Lily Lele, along with Tushar Kapoor and Veer Das. This again. had mixed reviews and was and performed average at the box office in fact one of the critics said leoni may not be better than this film but she is the best thing in it then the next film was jasmine disuza's one night stand with tanuj virvani which released on may 6th 2016 this film was a commercial flop but actually had mixed reviews now on september 30th 2016 her next release is rajiv choudhury's beman love in which she's starring opposite rajneesh duggal presently she's filming for arbaz khan for rajiv valia's romantic drama tera intezar she will even play an extended cameo for sunakshi sinha's noor directed by sunhil sippi she's even completed shooting for dhulakia's much delayed action thriller Tina and Lolo. Sunny has even shot an item song for Rais opposite Shah Rukh Khan. She's even doing she's even doing a special song with Imran Hashmi in Milan Lutria's Badshaho. Now talking about television appearances all over the world, it has been in 2005 for MTV Awards. 2007, Debbie Does Dallas. In 2008, My Bare Lady 2 open for business. 2008 Co-ed Confidential in 2011 for Big Boss 5 in 2014 Haunted Weekends with Sunny Leone in 2014 again Splits Villa season 7 in 2015 Splits Villa season 8 and in 2016 Big Boss 9 in a guest appearance thus the one and only Sunny Leone is one sensation who has taken the world by storm as well as India and its neighboring countries she's even amongst the top google celebrities across the world if you too love sunny leone then do like the video and if you don't then still like the video because we have unraveled her entire life in front of you like an open book this is a biography of sunny leone by skd for nargis news